doing some spring cleaning here I just finished machining some steel uh, parts a little small project and there was steel shavings all in the machine and I like to get those out because uh, I don't want it in my coolant uh, however in this case it didn't really make much difference because I need to change this coolant out I've been running this I mean this is the original coolant that I've had since I uh, put the flood coolant on this machine which was about three years ago so it's starting to get a little dirty inside and and it has a, a, a slight smell to it so I think it's a good idea to change it out you probably should change it out once a year but I get lazy and uh, I get busy and I just don't think about it uh, you can see this enclosure's held up pretty well over the years. Uh, the paint peeled off almost instantly. Uh, however, it's not really rusted. There's a little surface rust over here because shavings get piled up in that corner, uh, in the corners. But um, for the most part, it's held up really well. Uh, I think Cool Right is is probably the main reason because it leaves like a coating of oil on everything so it doesn't rust up works really well I'm really happy with it but over time it gets a little dirty so it's time to clean it up you can see my uh, stainless steel mesh filter here it does a really good job but it looks like it's getting slightly clogged I need to probably rinse it out and then here is the coolant tank. You can see it's getting this sludge build up on it. Um, and you can see the coolant has this uh, brown color to it. So it's time to uh, get this cleaned out. So what I've done is I've just got a bucket here and I'm just going to dump this into a bucket and uh, get rid of it. So let me do that and then we'll see what it looks like in the bottom of the tank. All right, I've got all the coolant out, and you can see there's a little pile of shavings under here. So my filter system uh, kind of got bypassed. I think what it is is you can see that there's a big gap here on my screen. Probably need to put some more. And this kind of lifts up, so I'm guessing somehow got worked its way under there. I was noticing it was happening so I put these scrap pieces of aluminum in here but uh, it's still got some got bypassed but really that's not much it's just a handful I mean it's just a handful of shavings so and apparently well there's a little bit over here a couple handfuls so not too bad you can see there's some sludge but it looks like that'll just kind of wipe out. It's just oil film. So, pretty good. Uh, the pump's no worse for the wear with the shavings in there. So, I guess they just kind of settle to the bottom. And so, they don't get sucked up with the pump. Alright, so I'm going to get this whole tank cleaned out. And then, uh, see if I can patch this. Maybe get this just a little bit better. Do something for that. And, uh get it filled back up alright so I'm filling up the tote uh, this is a 14 gallon uh, excuse me a 12 gallon tote inside a it's about a 14 gallon tub I did this because shortly after I did the flood coolant I realized what if I get a leak then I'm gonna have a shop full of uh, coolant so I doubled the tub just in case something happened with the inside tub I'd have a backup and I'd be able to see it you know inside there so <clears throat> that worked out really well for me um, I'm actually going to be using probably about 10 gallons it's a 12 gallon tub but I'm going to fill it up to about 10 gallons that's my mark there we're almost there I'm using just straight tap water out of the hose um, normally what I do is in the summertime I use my uh, I have a little portable air conditioner and the water that comes the condensate that comes off of that is actually distilled so I usually use that and the first time 
I did this. I used all distilled water, but over the years, it's been three years, I've uh, used just whatever I had, and it seemed to work fine, so I don't think that's really that big of an issue. Some people say it is. Some people say it doesn't matter. Uh, I don't know. This works for me, so... All right, so I've got this full. I'm going to go uh, push it back into the shop and uh, get the pump in there, and then we'll add the uh, cool right. All right, guys, I don't know if you remember, but originally I, I made this little coolant calculator to figure out how much of actual coolant I need to put in my uh, tank based on the gallon. So you can see I have... Uh, a refractive index for cool right of 1.3 uh, dilution rate of 10 percent if you change that it's gonna up the bricks I like to keep it around uh, 8 so we've got 10 gallons of bricks of 8.46 which is pretty good you can add more later if you need to so we're going to need for this 10 gallon since we're doing a fresh start we're going to need 140 let's say 141 ounces and uh, another thing I want to point out is uh, I used to get this cool right off eBay you could buy it in a gallon however I, it got to the point where I, we couldn't find it anymore but the same seller was saying selling this uh, Alpha Soil 190 and White and I both agree I think it's the exact same thing it's just rebranded so or a different brand so you can get this I'll post the link in the video description for this if you want there will also be a link for the coolant calculator if you're interested in that but um, so this is what I've been using I used uh, about two gallons three gallons of the Cool Right and then they moved over to this Alpha Soil 190 and I think I've got about a gallon and a half of this used um, it's cheaper if you just buy two gallons uh, because of shipping so that's what I normally do so let's go ahead and uh, we're going to add this straight to the tank and then we'll put our pump in there and wrap everything up and uh, we should be good to go we need to change our filter I want to start off with a fresh filter and uh, there's still going to be some coolant in the lines um, but hopefully not that much. Okay, so I've got fresh water, new coolant in here. And you can see uh, the color there looks pretty good. Now, what I did was I added about the half a gallon that I had. I added that. I knew that wasn't going to be enough, but I wanted to add that and check it and see where I was at. And sure enough, I needed to add more. So I went to the coolant calculator and I added more. Uh, it called for 108 ounces uh, to begin with, so I knew it was going to take about a gallon. So I opened up a fresh one, and I poured about a half gallon in there. Rechecked everything. Um, it'll probably change a little bit as I mix it up a little more, but uh, for now, the refractive in, uh, reading I'm getting uh, that I just checked was 6.5%. Uh, and... I think I got about 10 gallons in there. Actually, I think it's about 11 gallons. This is a 12 gallon tote, so I'm not quite sure where I'm at, but um, I think I'm around 11 gallons uh, with the coolant added because I added about a gallon of coolant, but I started with 10. And so it says I need to add about a half ounce more. I'm not going to worry about that right now. I think we're pretty good. I'm just going to run it like this for a little while, and then I'll check it in about a week or so. But the meal's all cleaned out, and uh, I'm feeling pretty good about that. So uh, now I can start running uh, some new parts. Uh, stay tuned. We're going to start uh, machining some parts for the injection motor machine. Guys, if you're new to my channel and you're just tuning in, click on that subscribe button in the bottom right-hand corner. Also, click on that notification bell. That way, when I post a new video like this one, they'll notify you and you can stop by and check it out.
As always, please feel free to ask questions, make suggestions, and leave comments. Thumbs up if you like the video. Please subscribe, and most importantly, be safe.